Hi, Sarah Bannis here, Spectrum Weavers. I'm going to show you today how to take this and turn it into this. Very simple. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to give you a two layer design so that you can cut this back layer in uh, black or in this case dark gray and then this top layer in yellow or whatever color you want. It doesn't have to be this particular design. There's a million different ways you can go with this. Um, you know, imagine if you're a cat lover and you want to write cats and then put cat face silhouettes, you know, on it or, you know, cat paws or whatever have you. Or, you know, if you want to make something for a hairdresser and you want to take silhouettes of a comb and a blow dryer and, you know, things like that. There's just any niche that you can think of, you can use this technique for. Um, some people call it knockout. So it's super easy though. Um, I'm going to show you today in Silhouette Studio, of course. So a couple of things first. Um, if this video is helpful to you, like the video, but also subscribe to my channel. When you subscribe, you'll get a notification when all of the new videos come out once a week or so. I try, it doesn't always happen, but just lots of ways that you can um, design for yourself and, you know, make your own, whether it be text work or, you know, uh, just lots of different ways to design for yourself and uh, make cool stuff with your silhouette. So <laughs> let's get started. Um, oh, just one other thing real quick. Join me on Facebook. We have um, a huge collaborative, uh, close to two million. It's like 1.7 or 1.8 million members at this point. Uh, maybe not all unique. I'm sure there's some overlap, but uh, between all of the groups in our collaborative, I'm going to link one in the description called Cricket and Silhouette for Beginners. Uh, it is a fantastic group. Um, it's probably about 185,000 members at this point. So big enough where it's super helpful, super knowledgeable, but still small enough where everyone is very friendly and helpful. And it's just, it's just a great group. So make sure you join us there. I give away free files all the time. I'll link that in the description. So now let's get started. <laughs> It's super easy though. Um, this font right here is free right now as of the time of this video. If you see this, and I'll link it in the description. If you see this video on time, make sure you grab it while it's free. Um, once it's out of the free section in a few days, I'll switch it over um, to the link to where you can buy it. It's probably not very expensive. I don't know for sure. Um, but right now, if you can grab it right now, grab it. It's free. Okay, so... Let's move all of this over to the side. We can get rid of this. Move all of this over here. Actually, I have something over here I need to grab. Oh, I have the leaves over here that I need to grab. Bring those over here. And probably actually get rid of that. We don't really need that any longer. Yeah, let's just get rid of that so we have room on the screen. Take these, right click on group. So I already have this font selected, so I'm going to type fall. Okay, when it's selected, I'm going to change the color to, actually, so this is going to be our inside, so I'll just get to change that to yellow. And then... Uh, what I'm going to do is with it selected still, I'm going to go over here to the right hand panels and I'm going to click on one that looks like a star. The top one looks like a star. It says offset panel. Click on that and then click offset. The, oh, you know, I'm sorry. I take that all back. So I'm going to cancel that. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to right click on it and you want to ungroup the letters. Okay, so now see how they're each individuals now and shimmy this over so that it is close. Almost as close as you can get it without it touching. I like to do it with um, my arrow key on the keyboard to start at least. Sometimes you have to manually shimmy it a little bit, but that gets you pretty close to where you need to be. So that's work. There you go. And then draw a box touching all of them and then right click and make compound path. And now you want to click offset. Okay. And that is a little bit more of an offset than I want. So I'm going to drag this down a little bit. I want my offset to make it so they're all touching. 
ปนาปายทานโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเคซึ่งโอเค
of that one there. There. I want to try to avoid that little tiny bit of oops. Do try to avoid that little tiny bit at the bottom. That is just about perfect. Flip that. Actually, you know, I'm not going to flip that. I actually like that almost right there. Oops. Do. Love that one there because I don't want I don't want two of almost the it's not the same but it's close and I so I don't really want those right next to one another. Let me put this one here. Yeah, that's good. And then maybe one more right here. So which one should we duplicate? Maybe this one right here. Duplicate. And then right click flip horizontally. I think that's pretty good just like that. So we can get rid of this one. Now there's a couple of different ways to go about this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab both of these and I'm going to move them. And then I'm going to take all of these and I am going to make compound path. So I right click, make compound path, and then I'm going to move these back. Okay. And then I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to select all of this. So I'm going to select both of those, the two layers. And then so I have my leaves and I have the yellow. And then I'm going to go over to my panel over here. This is the modify panel right here. And I'm going to click subtract all. Let me take a second. Did it subtract? No, it did. Eh. So then you can delete that layer. And that's it. That is literally all there is to it. So now you have your two layers. And it's that simple. So now you can cut this in uh, dark gray. Not black, dark gray. It looks more elegant. And then this in yellow or whatever color you want. Um, and then layer them together. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So it's just a fun technique. Um, super easy. So like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them either in the video description or in the group. I'm always in the group. So you know, you're always welcome to approach me and ask me there. Always happy to help. Um, and like I said, make sure you do join me on Facebook. The, our groups are fantastic. The whole collaborative is, is amazing. But uh, the group that I'll link is just one of my favorites. It's a great group. Um, we'd love to have you. Um, so join us there like the video, subscribe to my channel, 
And that's about it. I hope you have a great day.